Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to come out here to the bee yard. So it's another Sunday. It's December 18th, right about 2 p.m. Temperature is 54 degrees and the humidity is right at 36%. It feels nice. Uh, you would think it's a little cold for the bees to be flying, but that is not the case. I have three five gallon buckets spread out throughout our property that each contain about half a pound of the Bee Pro pollen substitute. I just put half a pound in at a time in case it rains and I don't waste too much pollen. And the bees are definitely flying because they're on the pollen substitute, which is a good thing. But at the same time, if you didn't catch last week's video, my suspicions of the hives, I'll get a little closer here in a second, in the fourth and fifth position, may have died out because there is really no activity on those colonies unlike number seven down here it's got some bees flying and then one and two i'll get a closer look and show y'all but they definitely have nice front porch activity so despite what the textbooks say uh the bees do fly when it is rather cold out now as I say that, two things come to mind. The textbooks basically say don't get into the hives if it's less than 65 degrees, which is why I'm hesitant to open the tops on four and five to see if they have any activity on the candy boards or if there's a small cluster because I don't want to open up the colony, let out any precious heat, and then cause more problems. But I don't really, I don't know if that's anything to worry about because this is the second, if not the third week that I have not seen any activity, which is usually a sign of a dead out because the few other hives are flying just fine. So anyway, with all that said, let me go show you the pollen feeder towards the old entrance, which is this way. And I'll show you what I mean. So there are a ton of bees over here and I don't have any protective equipment on, so I'm not gonna get too terribly close. But as y'all can see, they are enjoying the pollen sub that I'm giving them. And this is something else that I thought was kind of odd. Hopefully this comes up on camera, but they tend to kind of gather on all of the surrounding trees and there's nothing really to get from these trees now obviously that's a pine tree i believe this over here on the right is a maple that will start blooming in january but the bees are just hanging out all over the pine needles so not really sure what to make of that if anybody knows feel free to leave a comment it's interesting because i saw that saw that last week when i came over to take a look at the at the pollen feeder and I looked up and noticed just a ton of bees just like today all over the pine needles so just wanted to try and continue a Sunday tradition coming out to the bee yard showing y'all what's going on this might be the last video of the year because the holidays are right around the corner and the temperatures are dropping. And in fact, let me get my phone out real quick and I'll tell y'all the temperatures that we have to expect this next week. <clears throat> Let's see, today's low was 32, Monday's low is 25 degrees, high of 46. Tuesday's low is 31, high of 48. <laughs> Wednesday, low of 36 with 40% rain, high of 51. Thursday's low is 45, high of 67. 80% rain and thunderstorms. That wouldn't really be a good time to come out. I mean, it wouldn't, wouldn't. Maybe I'll try and sneak out into the yard on Thursday because the high is going to be 67 and pop the tops on those two colonies to see if they have any signs of life. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it drops down uh next monday low of 19 high of 38 so yeah for eastern north carolina sometimes it takes us a while it takes this area a while to like really start feeling the effects of winter but i think those effects are 
are definitely coming up over this next week. So yeah, hopefully you can see that activity on one and two. They're flying. Oh man, it just uh, kind of stinks to lose a hive or two or three. I'm, I'm losing them at a pretty fast rate here. We do have some activity, not much at all, on the fourth hive there. Five, nothing going on. Now I will say this: there is a there is a bit of a a bit of a silver lining. And that would be that the dead outs give me a chance to really cycle out some very old comb. And if y'all have watched any of my videos, you definitely know I have hives that have some very old comb in it, very dark comb. That That is one of my shortfalls. I don't cycle out the comb as often as I should. Some people... I think some people have a better method than I do and they cycle it out yearly. Not all of it, of course. That's not very realistic, but cycle a few frames out yearly and over time, you know, you'll cycle out all 10 frames and you don't have as dark comb as I do, but I guess that's one of the one of the silver linings with dead outs. It gives me a chance just to cycle out some old comb, try to recycle some, render some wax, but more so just get some new frames and wax in the colonies or ready for the next colony all right everybody i know that's not very exciting but i just wanted to show y'all what's going on here in the bee yard late december well mid-december i guess just after mid-december just a quick look actually as i wrap things up i'll show you the two other pollen feeders i had one very close to the back house over where we planted a tree a few years ago that tree ended up dying this past year but i put out a five gallon bucket in that location and with the warmer weather that we had this past week we could we couldn't even set foot out our back door because there were just pe bees going back and forth like crazy right off the uh, porch so i ended up moving that bucket to the corner of our property so essentially i have a bucket in each corner of our property and then where the old entrance to the bee yard uh used to be or the entrance i used to use so yeah let's go take a look at those two other buckets i did notice some nice activity on those earlier and then we'll wrap things up and this might be the last video for 2022 all right for those of y'all that have been watching the channel for a while may know that despite what i say sometimes i can't help myself this is the hive in the fourth position and I'm gonna go with they probably have not survived so that looks like another another true dead out and in fact since I'm here that's the hive in the fifth position no activity I can't separate the medium and the deep box but I'm guessing they're probably dead so you know what I'm gonna do Thursday when the weather is as warm as it's gonna be for the week I'm gonna take the food off of those two and provide them to the other hives that are still alive because I don't want that hard candy sugar boards going to waste so I'll move those around later this week before next weekend and then show y'all next weekend if the weather's warm enough uh, we'll take a peek into those candy boards but let me get back to what I was saying I was gonna do and show you all the other the other feeders real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say the hive or the hives in the third and fourth position have probably died out. And the thing that keeps tripping me up, especially with this hive here, which is in the fourth position, I'll see bees come and go just a little bit, but I think that's bees from other colonies sneaking in there's a small opening right here sneaking in and just kind of robbing any sort of food stores that are left or getting onto the sugar boards just a little bit all right well that's disappointing yeah there you go you can see that one 
not much activity at all especially from a hive that would be alive all right let's take a look at the pollen feeders hope every everyone has a happy holidays and a safe new year if i don't see y'all before then thank you for everybody that has subscribed to our channel liked our videos shared our videos feel free to check us out on instagram coles farm nc the link is in the banner on our youtube channel feel free to click on that and follow us over there post a little more content but yeah appreciate everybody that's joined us on this journey let's go check out some pollen feeders real quick all right well the bees are making the most of this i had this bucket kind of rested back a little and we got some rain the other day and that's what wet pollen substitute looks like which is pretty nasty you can see the fire pit there just past the fire pit to the left is the cut through to the bee yard so it's really not far for them at all let's go to the other corner of the property and i'll show you the other bucket that i have out in a new location from just a few days ago all right so i just came from that side of the yard it's about maybe close to 300 feet this is one of my other favorite areas i've hung swarm traps over here in those pine trees and actually I've caught a few over the years, but in an effort to continue feeding the bees pollen sub, but a little further away from the house, as you can see, I put a bucket back here on top of uh, pretty much just an area where we throw some brush that we've cleaned up from the yard and pine needles and whatnot, just some yard debris really, but the bees don't seem to mind. Oh man, there's like a real dusty one in there trying to get out. It is just buried. Oh, there he goes. I don't know if that came up on camera or not. But it's out here earlier, kind of messing with the bucket. Try not to have it kick back so much. So if it rains, it doesn't fill up and get nasty like the other one. I'll have to fix that off camera. But yeah, just a quick look. You can pretty much put a bucket anywhere and it took the bees took the bees a few days to find it there's not as many on this as the one by the old entrance because it's so close to the to the bee yard but they do find it and they make use of it all right again thanks for watching everybody cole's farm here in jacksonville north carolina we appreciate everybody that's subscribed to the channel can't say that enough it means a lot to us and if it takes me a little bit to reply to any sort of comments on videos you know apologies in advance i i'm still active duty and and work full time so it might take me a day or two to respond to any sort of comments or questions y'all have but just wanted to say thanks for everybody or thanks to everybody for subscribing all right that does it for us merry christmas happy new years have a safe holidays everybody and we'll see y'all in 2023